Hi, I'm Dr. Susan Brown, medical anthropologist and nutritionist, and I direct the Center for Better Bones in East Syracuse, New York. Today, I would like to share a few tips with you about maximizing your bone health in early postmenopause. As you likely know, menopause is imp a very important time to think about bone. The average woman in the US and Canada loses 10% of her total bone mass during the menopausal transition. The first two years after the last period is a time of accelerated bone loss and an important time to take bone preserving action. So my tip number one, put attention on caring for yourself. As an anthropologist, I find menopause fascinating. Many ancient cultures around the world hold the cessation of menstrual periods as a transition into a new phase of empowerment, freedom, and wisdom. Women no longer lose life energy and life force through monthly bleeding. There's a freedom from the possibility of pregnancy, which can often reflect back on sexuality and sexual freedom. My favorite case is Botswana, where the only symptom of menopause reported was an increase in libido. The status of respected elder is also often conferred at this time. Our culture might not appreciate the non-childbearing years in the same way as ancient cultures did, yet the wisest among us recognize that this is a great time for women to gather their special energies and reconsider their focus. For me, menopause marks the beginning of the second half of life. All beginnings are a great time for reflection and for assessing where we want to put our attention, where we want to put our time, our focus, our love, and even our money. So my tip here is to spend a little time with a personal journal. Appreciate what you've accomplished in the first half of your life. Consider your goals and desire for the second half. Each of us has a unique gift to offer the world. Explore your gifts. How can you use them during the second half of life? How can you make them big? Finally, pay attention to how you feel. When you feel vibrant, happy, and when you're exhilarated, and when you're feeling good, you're in touch with your true spirit. Consider seeing freedom from menstrual periods as an invitation to gather your energies within and focus on yourself for a while. Tip number two, exercise with an eye towards building bone mass. The three main legs of my Better Bones, Better Body program are, first, a plant-based alkaline diet. Second, use of high quality supplementation to provide all of the 20 key bone building nutrients. And third, exercise. While all of these are important, this last tip for those just entering menopause is about exercise. The average woman loses 10% of her bone mass between the first few years before the last period and the first few years after the last period. In early postmenopause, the goal is to halt any excessive bone loss as quickly as possible. Exercise, especially regular physical activity that builds muscle, can help to reduce bone loss during this period. Many types of exercise can be effective, and you should pick the exercise that is fun and uplifting for you. In one study, a three times a week strength training program using a weighted vest was able to even prevent postmenopausal bone loss altogether. At the other end of the spectrum, mindful exercises like yoga, tai chi, and qigong are also helpful for reducing bone loss and building new bone mass. These not only stimulate bone growth, but they also nourish and soothe the nervous and endocrine systems. Make a commitment to yourself to exercise at least 30 minutes every day with three days a week doing a more rigorous one hour routine if that is at all possible. You might want to refer to my new DVD on exercising for bone health. Finally, tip number three, reinforce your nutrition and supplement program. The great do less and accomplish more thing that you can do in early postmenopause is to guarantee your intake of all the 20 key bone building nutrients by using a high grade multivitamin mineral omega-3 supplement. Details on the 20 key bone building nutrients and their doses can be found on my website, betterbones.com. The second nutritional tip is to develop an alkaline diet. This takes a bit more work, but it is well worth 
for its benefits to bone health are great. You can learn all about the Alkaline Diet in my books, on my YouTube videos, and on my website, betterbones.com. You can also join the personal program for Better Bones. This is an at-home version of the best practices that I use with my clients at the Center for Better Bones. In the meantime, try to consume two cups of vegetables at lunch and dinner and a few servings of fruits, nuts, seeds, and spices each day. This is Dr. Susan Brown, director of the Center for Better Bones, wishing you lifelong bone health. As I like to say, take heart and take action. There are many things you can do to build and rebuild bone strength at any age. Mm -hmm.